Hi all, welcome to my channel. I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods and today guys we are going to be doing our Enterprise D build. So we are going to do stage 6 of build the Enterprise D. Now stage 6 is the last stage in pack 2 uh, that we're going to be doing today and we're going to be working on the skeletal frame today. So we're going to be starting that now. I thought this skeletal frame would take a while to do because when we did the Millennium Falcon that that took its time, but this thing pretty much builds itself very, very quickly. So you'd be surprised how quickly this goes together. Um, I'm hoping that um, in pack three, there's not going to be too many deck panel lights to do, but uh, we'll just have to see that. But we're not on pack three, we're finishing off pack two today. So let's get on with today's build. So with all that said, let's get modeling. Program complete. Enter when ready. Right, everybody, so there's no point in me getting this out for um, this to get ready because, to tell you the truth, there isn't that much to do. I'm, I'm loving how this is packed, to tell you the truth, because, to me, it's the uh, old-style packaging. Um, I mean, this was with Eagle Moss, so uh, it's how they used to do the packaging. We've got some BM screws that I'm just emptying into my screw tray. And here we have... Part of skeletal tray, uh, frame, and then we've got the oh, try and get them out, not easy. We've got one there, oh, packaged well, and one there. Okay, so let's get started with today's stage. So, let's get rid of that packaging. So, in this stage, which is stage 6, uh, the network of skeletal supports will be visible when your Enterprise D is complete, but it's not an essential part of your model structure, which begins to take shape here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is, with this around this way, it's asking us to put this piece just onto... Right, hang on. Just onto there. That can't be right. One piece bigger than the other. Oh, sorry, it's this big chunky piece. Should have known. Okay, and then from the other side, we're screwing that in with some BM screws. And we are going into metal. I don't know why I got that wrong then. I really don't. It just looked a lot thinner in the magazine. Okay, so BM screws, metal. So we're going in with some three in one. Right. Not best happy on that's lining up. So, let's try this one. That's lining up a bit better. In fact, you can feel that tightening. This one. Ah, right. So, you've just got to get it in the right place. But you want this to be strong. Right, so that's in place. Right, so turning this round again. This one, I've got it correct this time, is going to go into there and that's going to be screwed in with two BM screws. Now, Obviously, I said about <coughs> I did start building this uh, 2021 and I stopped because Eagle Moss <laughs> was having problems with getting parts. Well, when I looked back on my previous videos, I didn't actually realise, but this is the stage I finished at. So I, I built this stage and it would have been pack three. That eagle moss will trouble 
run out of stock and because I'd waited so long that's when I decided to cut my losses and and get out when I did so after this I didn't build any of it I'm going to try a different screwdriver just give myself some more leverage. Ah, oh, that's better. This PH1 really does come in handy when you're doing jobs like this. Okay, there we go. That's all we have to do in this stage. Um, so yeah so we've started the skeletal support here which looks great not looking forward to routing wires and everything through this but um, it's a necessary part of this build unfortunately but uh, yeah i'm really really happy with that and the way things have turned out so guys that is pack two and stage six complete well guys that's it for uh, stage six and pack two would you believe it of the enterprise D. so we're uh, two packs in uh i've got another four packs to go so um yeah we've still got quite a bit to do on this enterprise and it's uh, really interesting um yeah that skeletal frame you do really have to use a big nice chunky screwdriver to get them screws in it doesn't help just using a, a ph0 because they're just too thin and they just you just can't get the sort of you know um, or strength behind them to put them in so mm -hmm. i find using the ph1 was a lot better um and i can't believe i've gone this long without using a ph1 screwdriver it's something i got oh just before we moved so it would have been november last year and i've used it so much since then it really has helped with the build so uh if you if you need a, a better screwdriver or you want one with a bit more strength then yeah go out and get a wear a ph1 screwdriver because they are really really good anyway guys if you like this video please feel free to give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell you'll be notified of any future videos but as for always stay safe and bye for now